What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous, fabulous Tuesday. Happy, happy Tuesday. Let's dive in and just see what the tea is real quick, okay? See what's going on for Scorpio. What's happening with Scorpio energy? What's brewing? What's the tea? All right, some of y'all, y'all got negative energy being thrown at you. You got under spiritual attack, fighting off negative energies, fighting spiritual warfare, needing to clean your energy. Some of y'all need to clean, cleanse your energy, okay? Because you got people throwing uh, spiritual attacks at you, expecting new beginning. It's because you about to, yeah, it's a hater. <laughs> it's a hater. Um, it's because you're about to have a brand new beginning, whether it's you getting pregnant, you starting a family, you starting a business, you planting some sort of seed, it's starting to grow, expansion. Is, is there as well. Because not everybody want to be pregnant, child. Oh, God. <laughs> Honey, no more. Ever this lifetime. <laughs> Maybe next lifetime. Okay. But, um, caution and parenting. Some of y'all, this could be your, your, uh, your baby mom, baby daddy. Others of you, this could be a parent or somebody you've seen as like a parent figure or something like that. Somebody that you had some sort of childhood connection with or, because uh, it says caution and parenting, focusing on your children co-parenting. And then check yourself. So make sure you're keeping yourself in check when it comes to this, okay? Make sure you're doing your part, doing what you need to. Total drama. Because, yeah, child, some of y'all got a baby mama or baby daddy that just, they toxic, honey. They toxic. And even though they say, oh, I wish you well, they really don't. They're a hater. They're your biggest hater. What else do you have? We have recording, announcement, expression, revealing. You could be announcing something, okay, expressing something, protecting yourself, needing to keep yourself safe. Some of y'all need to be careful of announcing too much or saying too much, okay? Because you got a copycat coming out. Yeah, keeping you a secret. You got a copycat coming out. Uh, this person will be the type of person. They copying you and they, not, they don't want nobody to know that, that uh, they're copying you, okay? They wait until you post something or wait until you say something so that they can go make some sort of move behind the scene. But they want to keep it a secret. Like, no, I don't watch. I don't watch Scorpio. No, I don't pay attention to Scorpio. I'm not even on social media. But they have a whole fake account <laughs> trying to find out what's your next moves. Okay, what else do you have for Scorpio, please, spirit? Expecting new beginning. Yeah, there's some sort of new beginning, the start of something for you. You giving birth to something. And it's, it's putting somebody in their feelings. Caution. Some of y'all, this is your damn baby daddy, baby mama, or somebody that want to have kids with you, want to start a family with you, or somebody that you have like a childlike uh, childhood connection with, somebody from your past. Some of y'all, this is this is somebody that want a new beginning with you, and you just focus on what you can control. Because not everybody got kids, so it's like you just focus on what you can control, things that you can do. You're not worried about nobody else, and this got somebody in their feels, okay? But it's because they toxic. Pregnancy test for some of y'all. This could be somebody that wanted to get you pregnant. I'm telling you, like wanted to get you pregnant or wanted to have a start with you, but they were unsure. They weren't no. They weren't. They weren't knowing. They were wishy washy. They were like, I don't know if I want it or not. Do I want to be with Scorpio or not? But they were toxic. Honey, that's toxic. Indecision is means no decision. Okay, so somebody couldn't make up their minds, and so you're still having this new beginning anyway. <laughs> All right. What's the under? I said, like, All right. <laughs> What's under spiritual attack? What's that? Under spiritual attack. Clarify that energy. Toxic. Yeah, toxic ass people. Toxic energies around you. Get in a room. Hotel, motel, sweet business pleasure. Yeah. Some of y'all, this person could be sending toxic energy. Some of y'all, y'all work with a toxic person or something like that. But others of you, this is somebody that don't want to see you uh, doing well in business or enjoying yourself, enjoying the fruits of your labor. This could have been also... Somebody that somebody a hotel room could be a significant in their fields, destroyed, shattered, broken, effed up. Yeah, there's somebody I'm telling you, they they in their feelings, they need to get up out their feelings because they being toxic. This is like somebody wishing bad on you, wishing ill will on you because they in their feelings. Baby, control them. <laughs> get control of them. Get yourself. Okay. What's wrong with you? Yeah, divorce, breaking a contract. This could be somebody you're going through a divorce or a breakup, or maybe you ended a lease with, or you just you you just, you cut ties with this person. And they in their feelings and they toxic as hell. Caution. Ugh. Some of y'all, if y'all, if y'all used to work with this person, yeah, attracting. They low vibrational. Something about your light, the way that they're attracted to your light. Mm. What's the recording, child? What's recording for Scorpio? I wish this damn person gone somewhere. Knowing they fucked up. They know they messed up. They know they messed up. 
salt or sugar. Be careful. They both look the same. Looks can be deceiving. This person deceived you. They could have came off like they was cool with you, like they really liked you and stuff like that. But this person been causing total drama. They've been causing nightmares. They was a copycat in your energy. Yeah. This person, they're not even a leader. This is somebody that copy off of other people. For some of y'all, it says promiscuous. Sleeps around a whole free for all. Sleeps with your man. Falling apart. Falling into pieces. All torn up. If this was somebody that was happy to be like, uh -huh, I slept with your man. Or, uh -huh, I moved on from Scorpio. Scorpio ain't ish. Baby, they looking stupid. They whole life falling apart. Chill out. Yeah. They realize, man, I probably did too much. I probably need to chill out. I probably shouldn't have did all that. Or they said that you was a hoe and that you slept around and stuff like that, trying to, you know, discredit you or something like that. And remember, that's, I just heard backfire. Don't want to hear it. Yeah, somebody was being fake. When they could have been sugar to you or when they could have been sweet and respectable to you, they chose not to. They chose to trick you like, nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trick Scorpio. Like, I'm a nice person. I'm really not. But they didn't want to hear it from nobody. They didn't want to listen to nobody. That ego had them all up in their head, doing whatever they wanted to. Yeah, gym. For some of y'all, this person, they was so much in their ego. It says, meeting someone at the gym, staying long hours, doing more than working out. They could have been cheating, sleeping around, all kind of stuff. But they didn't want to hear that. No. No, I didn't mess up. I know I did, right? They could have tried to, like, expose you or out you or, like, do something in your face, parade somebody around in your face. Give me another on the recording, child. Give me another on the recording energy. Why they know they effed up? Great actor putting on a show because they, they went off and acted like they was happy. Yeah, betraying you. Causing you sickness. Making you feel, make, uh, being a fake friend of you. Yeah, they, they was they was happy doing this. Betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. Now you don't trust this person. You look at this person like this. They a snake, child. You don't want nothing to do with this person. Yeah, protecting yourself. Need to keep yourself safe. Anytime you feel or look at this person, you sense, I need to protect myself from them because I can't trust them. You've made it clear. Some of y'all probably even announced it. Like, I don't trust this mofo. <laughs> like, kick to the curb. Yeah, get the f out of my energy. And that's what you want right now. Whoever this is to keep coming in this energy, bye. Why do you keep coming in this energy? We, we don't want to talk about you no more. We want new energy. But they, they just want to keep creeping back up. Some of y'all, oh, child. Every time they come back, you... you Try to kick them out your energy. Venting, talking about your issues. Yeah, this person, they just, they want to hear about your problems. They want to hear you venting. No, mm -mm. they know they messed up with you. Maybe this was somebody that used to vent to you and you could always help them problem solve and stuff like that. No, not no more. What's expected new beginning? Diamond girl, born to shine. Yeah, you having your new beginning here. It's time for you to shine. This person, they've been sending you all these spiritual attacks, pretending like you're not who you say you are, feeding you salt instead of sugar, treating you like shit. You know what I'm saying? When really you deserve this new beginning. You deserve to be shining. You deserve to be looked at as high quality, high value. What's expected new beginning? And you about to get it. Divorce, breaking a contract. And some of y'all, this all begins with uh, releasing a person, divorcing a person, separating from a person. Yeah, they want you to keep riding this out like, hell no. A situation about to explode. Ish about to pop off up in flames. They know. Yeah. And then Jim, they know. Like, say this person cheated on you, right? Look, destroyed. Yeah, say this person cheated on you, slept around, something like that. They know they messed up, child. They know they messed up. But they were sending you all kind of toxic energy, spiritual attacks. So this could have had you vibing low or had you like not feeling your best self and stuff like that. And um, so they talked about you. They, you know, they announced it and stuff like that. But this energy here, this new beginning. Yeah, you could be sitting back. We got talking about your issues, salt or sugar keep coming out, and watching ish go down and join the gossip. You could be sitting back while you um, up here shining. They could be watching you shine, okay? They could be watching you shine, or people are going to be gossiping about this person. Like, dang, like this uh, Scorpio ain't, ain't even like that. Who said Scorpio was like that? Like, y'all tripping. Scorpio ain't even that type of person. Scorpio, cool. But see, they was... They were sending you so many negative, and this could even be that, like, dang, like, maybe they were saying that you were the toxic one, and you was this, and you was that, and then once you divorce from this person, you're going to have this brand new beginning, and your true energy is going to be shining, and they're going to, they know whatever they said or done or whatever show that they put on, it's not true. They're going to find out that they're actually the toxic ones. 
So say this was somebody y'all were married to or in a contract with or business contract with. Maybe y'all had to like be silent or you couldn't say much, okay? Or this person because they was able to like, maybe they're more popular or something and they're able to like taint your name and stuff like that. They know they messed up though. Announcement, expression, and revealing. They know they messed up because with this new beginning here, it's like people are going to be saying, well, I thought you said Scorpio didn't have this. I thought you said Scorpio didn't have that. Or I thought they're going to start seeing that. They don't want you to have this new beginning. What's the unspiritual attack? A toxic. Materialistic. Yeah, somebody is materialistic here. Overwork. Someone is doing way too much. Yeah, somebody. Uh-uh. Somebody is so uh so toxic and so materialistic that they like trying to like put you down or send you so much negative toxic energy or make you out to be so toxic so that they could keep living this lifestyle. Like this would be somebody at work trying to throw you under the bus, trying to make it seem like you're not a good person to work with or collaborate with just so that they could keep their position. You see what I'm saying? Or this is somebody that owes you money. They could be like, oh, no, they a piece of shit. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't borrow from them or something like that. I don't know. They were just doing too much to try to make you out to be somebody you weren't. What's, what's under spiritual attack with toxic? Succubus. Seduces and manipulates men. This could be succubus or incubus energy. This is somebody who sleeps around for money. Avoiding. Someone's avoiding you or vice versa. Yeah. You could be completely avoiding this person. You don't want nothing to do with this person because you know that they they be seducing or manipulating you. Okay. Now, for some of y'all, this could be somebody that some of y'all this could be another female. Same sex energy. What's what's the understanding of toxic or toxic? Running. You trying to get away from this person. Off and on, hot and cold and detached. This person, they could have been off and on with you. What's the understanding of toxic or toxic? Sweet talk. Yeah, this person used to could sweet talk you into anything or like sweet talk people into anything. Yeah, secret. I told y'all secret accounts. This person could be watching from a secret account. What's under spiritual attack with toxic? Under spiritual attack with toxic. Illumination, truth, discovery, and awakening. That's what it is. Somebody could have seduced somebody or manipulated somebody. Okay, and by sending, yeah, side hustle, by sending you the negative energy and stuff like that, they was creating their own side hustle by doing that, right? Now, the truth is coming out. People are starting to wake up why this person was sending you negative energy or why this person was doing this, and it's because of materialistic reasons. This is uh, somebody who's seeing like, wow, they, they doing way too much to try to get some money. You know, do they need it or, or do they really got the money that they got or are they trying to use this person or something like that? Why is this person, this be like, why is this person running away from this person? Yeah, self-love, GPS. And divine masculine energy. My stomach is growling. Backstab, pain, deception, pain, cheating, deception, mind games, love bomb. This could be a love bombing type of energy. Somebody that come off like they divine masculine type of energy, but they'll stab you in the back. They toxic. This is a toxic masculine here. They like to go towards people that love themselves. Okay. And feed off of that energy. They want to like tell you, and they do it for materialistic reasons. Okay, very materialistic type of person. They ask this type of person, they only date women bosses or men bosses, right? Just so that they can suck the life out of them, get what they want out of them. And now somebody trying to run away, like, no, nah, that ain't what I did. Like trying to sweet talk their way out of it. No, nah, baby, you did, you did too much, honey. What's uh, recording or announcement, expression, revealing? What's that? Setting intentions, yep. Somebody, yeah, some, mm, single woman, not the committed type. Somebody tried to make you out like you were non-committal, like you weren't worth committing to, being with, being uh, in a relationship with, or betrayal, witnessing infidelity. This person could have been like, no, nah, don't be with Scorpio because Scorpio's a cheater. Or no, nah, um, or they could have betrayed you in front of your face. Like put on a show, betrayed you in front of your face, jump into conclusions, abuse. This person could be abusive. I'm telling you, some of y'all, this person could have came out like, no, nah, Scorpio ain't meant to be trusted. They knew what they was doing, setting intentions. They knew what they were doing. They were trying to make you out like you were non-committal, like you weren't the type of person to be with, you know. You, but it says, knowing they effed up, great actor putting on the show. What's the recording with announcement, expression, and revealing? 
twin flame because they knew that you were this person's twin flame or that you would be seen as their other half. That y'all are like yin to yang. Y'all would have a happy relationship together. Like y'all could actually build and grow and be successful with. But see, somebody wanted to make it out like sexual connection, strictly sexual energy, vampire. This person is draining your energy. They want to make it out like, no, nah, I wouldn't be with this person. This person, they just, they, they only good for sex or they'll take what they need from you. Yeah, self-judgment. They, they could have treated you like you was a one-night stand or wanted you to be seen as that. Like, this person's only worth a one-night stand, a quick fuck, you know, that type of energy. This this could even have you looking at yourself differently. Guards of this person's guard is always up. And you could be very guarded now or now you're very, you came off this type of way. Um, because this person did this. That's fucked up. They could have made it out like you was a you was a hoe. Like that person ain't worth committing to. I wouldn't be with that person. They a hoe. They a slut. They sleep around. You treat them like I would just treat them like a side piece or something like that. What's the recording? Side hustle, and it was all for money. Secrets. That that's the secret. That's why this person was putting on a show. That's why this person was doing this and doing that. And it's about to come out. Somebody's about to make the announcement. Somebody's about to reveal something. And that's going to be what's being revealed. Is that this person was fake. Everything that they said and that they did was a lie. If you're wondering why a certain person wouldn't commit to you or be with you. Yeah, this person could be getting readings on you. Yeah, this is somebody you bumping heads when you don't get along with. But they were able to make money off of this or make money off of you somehow. Like, say this is a baby mama or baby daddy, right? They could have been like, no, they ain't committal. They a hold. I wouldn't commit to them. Da, 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 da. But like the whole reason why they was doing that and making it seem like you were non-committal, you was a hoe, you was out here not taking care of yourself and stuff like that was because they were actually that way. And they didn't want to pay child support or they didn't want to take care of their responsibilities. They knew that you was carrying all the weight. So, you know, or like, they were able to get with another person by making you seem like the bad person and making them seem like they the upright person when that's not the case. Just so they, they could get with somebody with money or make a living or make a, make a, this, this could be somebody do stuff for clout. Like, oh, I'm going to bash the fuck out of my baby mom, baby daddy so that I can make my, make a, make a name for myself or go into the, uh, throw, throw them under the bus so I can level up. Like, um, uh, Rise up off of they back type of energy. What's the recording with announcement, expression, and revealing? Divine feminine. When really you're a divine feminine energy. Pregnancy, fake news. They could have spread some fake, uh, some news about a pregnancy. You know, yeah, true colors, drinking. They could have been like, when really this person is the one that's toxic. Toxic lifestyle, true colors, fake. So they could have been like, oh, no, nah, this person, they toxic. They this, they that. When really they're trying to cover themselves. Fucked up over you. Yeah, this person could still be in their feelings over you. People are going to start seeing that, living in the moment. Karmic lesson. You could have learned your lesson. Queen B. When really you're this queen B, stable, confident, secure type of person, career-focused, boss B type of energy, boss dude type of energy. But they didn't want you to be seen like that. Instead, they want to bash you and tear you down because they still in their emotions over you. Is what this is. What's the expecting a new beginning? Cutting ties. See, you're cutting ties with this person. You're letting them go. What's expecting a new beginning? We have preparing for what's to come. You know, you know, once you cut ties with this person, look, set up. Someone's being set up. This person could have set you up in everything. You know, when you cut ties with this person, you're going to have your new beginning. And that's why you're preparing yourself. And, and this person knows when you do that, you're going to be set free. What's, what's expecting a new beginning? Yeah, look, in my zone, minding my own business. This is why you focus on your business, your plate. Gaslighting. Like, this person up here sending evil eye, gaslighting. You trying to break free of this person. It says evil eyes. Someone is wishing bad upon you. They don't want you to have this new beginning. Switching up. They know how to lift your spirit. And pass me. I'm telling you, this person, they will come in. They act like they really want the best for you. Act like they're lifting you up only to, 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 to make you fall flat on your face. This person to come in, just see if you're sleeping with somebody or messing with somebody or something like that. What's this expect a new beginning? Love messages. Let's expect a new beginning. Losing sleep, worried, replaying events, thinking about you. What's expecting a new beginning? My way, selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride, and ego. Somebody in their ego. 
love spell. They want to come in and try to love bomb you and send you little messages and stuff like that. Watch you from secret accounts. Hell no. Police stash. Some of y'all may have to get a restraining order against this person. Reckless love and sex. Yeah. Mm -mm. Child no. Some of y'all may have to get a restraining order against this person or something too. Because this person, they're just not letting up. They're not letting go. All right, let me get a couple of these cards. Y'all just realized what time it was. Any other messages for Scorpio? Blonde or brown hair? Somebody got blonde or brown hair? What's going on for Scorpio? Um, throwing rocks and hiding their hands. Thank you. That's the energy of this coming out. Somebody been throwing rocks, hiding their hands. Like trying to make it seem out, seem like you a hoe, like you not to be committed to. I wouldn't commit to that person. They ain't worth committing to. Da, da, da. When you, you really somebody twin flame. Blue, red, white, car or truck. Somebody could be in their 20s and 30s. We have USPS, UPS, DHL, or FedEx could be significant. So that could be receiving mail or packages. Facebook or Instagram could be a significant. So we all got money coming in. Hey, hey, hey. We have new clothes or jewelry coming in. Freckles or moles on face could be a significant. Voodoo dial. See, somebody doing voodoo on you or some truck or Jeep. This person got on a truck or have a Jeep. Somebody trying to do voodoo and stuff to try to like taint your image and stuff like that so that they can keep making money off of you or like this would be like, you know, somebody on the T channel and then they like throwing you under the bus and talking about you. Like, and then I heard this and I didn't. And then they keep rising up by throwing you under the bus or making you look less than. You know what I'm saying? Or like this is somebody that a step on your that step on your back in order to have a level up. And long as they can keep you down there, keep you below them, they doing good. S or keep you in a bogus contract, then they doing good. Like, say this is a marriage, right? They keep you tied up in this marriage. They can keep stealing your money, keep using your money, keep taking advantage of you so they can keep having a level up when really they not meant to live that lifestyle. Baby, that's my money. That's my stability. I worked hard for that. It's giving me Wendy Williams and Kelvin. That's uh, Capricorn. Uh, we have L. When you need to get up off your ass, S, yeah, I'm here slow, slow ass. You need to get up off your ass and go get a job. June or work, H, put more hours in. Focus on something else. Stop trying to take other folks stuff, V. Can't stand no loser ass person like that. G, Q. We have I, T. Something about I, T could be significant, M. The motor vehicle. I let's see. Give me a couple more and then I'm in this off. We also have Z, X, A. The month of May could be significant. Y and the month of January could be significant. The only major uh, Scorpio sign is Capricorn. So somebody could be operating out of, uh, operating out of that low vibrational Capricorn energy. And then July. Or this could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, okay? I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.